Yeah, what's up? So, as you, some, some of you, three people who watch these videos, may already know I died with the Guardian. If you didn't know, there's gonna be a video success somewhere up there. Uh, I don't think, uh, due to time constraints, like POD is gonna get a new patch in like less than two weeks, and I really wanna play that. And the league itself is only gonna last for like another four weeks or something like that. I think the 40 out of 40 is gonna be uh, out of my reach. And then because of that, I'm probably just gonna go with uh, 36 challenges and level, hopefully level this character to 100. And maybe, maybe do the Hall of Grandmaster, which I really wanted to do. I have a two point spin and I'm leveling Portal Dead, so I might might do that at some point. Also, I have no idea if you are hearing that uh, sawing upstairs, but I hope you don't. So yeah, like this is like what ninety six and a half, yeah. So I might be able to get the one hundred even before the beauty hits. We'll see. Um, and because I'm not going for the forty or forty, oh, oh yeah, let's get the other challenges. So I'm missing one key for pay council. I just need to finish up this and I'll get it. Breach larvae. I have multiple multiple uh, stones, uh, twinned maps. It's probably pretty easy. Just in case. I think the only thing, only map here I'm uh, actually scared is core. Double Malaga is uh, sketchy. So at that point we would have 34. Uh, 8 mods corrupted, so well. If I failed at doing 8 mods on these maps, I'm bad. And then the last one is probably gonna be just the mods. This is pretty common. I think this is pretty common too. I think... I might... Might be able to do this, I don't know. It's probably gonna be to just do the twin instead of this. And, well, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna do end game grinds because... I would have to do Guardians, I would have to... I haven't even, like... Since the Guardian was supposed to be the character to do this, and I'm too, I don't want to make a character just for this anymore, I'm probably not gonna make another Guardian, even though I have uh, five cards for the Shavs already. Just like randomly been finding this from map that I've been running. Oh god, what a mess. Yeah, so I decided I'll just make the Elder Circle. And. Uh, before I get too much into it, there's a couple things you need to know about this if you want to make yourself. So the obvious downside is that you cannot farm Elder anymore if you do that. So now we get through that. There's three things that you need to know uh, in order to do this. And the first one is Elder has to be connected to his Guardians inside the Influence. That's if if they remove that rule, this is gone. Like instantly, this this won't work anymore. So because Elder has to be connected to the Guardian on my Dunes map, uh, if we first, like this is this was a Guardian previously. When we go around the whole Atlas, actually you don't have to go around the whole Atlas even. Uh, I'll show you a picture of a permanent elder without going through the uh, the whole atlas. So here it is. Thanks Lindiver. So you see, you don't actually have to do like go around the atlas. You can do it here, you can do it... Uh, you can do it here, you can also do it in this area. You could probably do it here too. Like if you get it into any of the red maps, you can do it on that corner. Because the red maps have like two different outs, like ways they get out. So for example, like like this this area here is connected to this pathing out and this pathing out. So you could like connect them to here. You could do the same here or here from this side to this side, and in here from this side to like this side. Okay, so the first one was the Elder needs to be connected to his Guardians. 
The second one is uh, you can have 30 maps under Elder's influence at any at, at maximum. Uh, I'm gonna get in a second how that like why that's important. But the bare minimum, if you want to do full circle around the atlas, I think is 20 minus the one map here. So like what one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Uh, and then the third one, which is very important to know and be careful of while doing this, is that Shaper can only take a map from Elder, from the maps that it's adjacent to. For example, uh, this map cannot be taken out. Even even if I had even if I had bathing through here, this map cannot be taken out by Shaper because it doesn't have a adjacent map to it. So, for example, my even if I never run this jungle valley right now. Because uh, Elder, I mean, Shaper has uh, Coral Ruins under his influence, well, he can take it. But these maps, that are on the main path, main path being uh, one map to the next map, uh, without being like, so for example, this could be two maps wide, right? I could have, I could, I could connect to Moon Temple from this route or from this route. Which means I could remove either of the routes because you have one route to this key map. So there's there's very few maps that are like quote unquote must in your circle. Of course it depends on if you're doing this circle here or like through the whole atlas. But if you do the atlas, like around the whole atlas, you're very likely going to be having Ivory Temple always under the influence. Because it's the only map in this side of the atlas that connects the upper part to the left part. You know, you can't go from here, you can't go from here, you can't go from here. The only connection is the ivory temple. So, now we got that out of the way. A uh, couple things that you should keep in mind while doing this is that the more maps you can have between your elder and the guardians, the easier, it, like the, the better, pretty much, because then you can use more maps to uh, move the routing. I, I used the example here where you have two different routings, so you could. What that means that is that I could, for example, if I didn't want to have these maps under the Perma uh, influence, I could also do a different pathing. I could go from here and connect these, and after that, that routing is connected. I could remove this. And then these maps will be permanently influenced. You can do this on every red map corner uh, with the limitation of 30 maps. So you can't have like you can't have all red maps connected because it would be just too many maps. You can have like two map like two red corners. For example, if you wanted to do like just this side, you can have all basically you could be having like you start from let's say you have a like what I have it here, right? So you could follow up from here. Uh, this is a bit bad example because Elder is here, but let's let's say that Elder was here, for example. So the other routing would go up from here. So you'd go all the way from here, connect this, and then from here connect this, and like that. So there's there's a lot of flexibility, but first you should try to get the the core. For, so, for, so for example, I have the core done now. I haven't decided yet what will be the actual permanent influence. Like I could go from here. I could go up from here, red maps, if I wanted to. I could even... I think I could even connect through here, through the park. I really enjoy running park. And I'm thinking like... But then you have the shitty red maps. Well, if you really don't want to run like the shitty red maps to drop, you can remove the maps after. For example, I don't have Ivory Temple here. It was here on my first take. 
but I forgot to unmute myself, so I talked like 17 minutes on the video without actually, you know, recording anything. So in that I showed uh, that you can remove a map and it will stay under the influence. So you could remove like bad red maps if you wanted to. Granted you would still find villa and palace whenever running the park. But you could do this, for example, to brute force only having volcano to drop. If you really wanted to. Even though you are going, like let's say I wanted to run T9 volcano like I have here. Even though I'm going through uh, T9 maps here, there's a T9 here, there's a T9 here, there's a T9 there. And so on. So you, you can remove maps, but then you have you really have to make the like the setup uh, before you do that. Because Ivor Temple is a bad example because you know it's the connection part here. But for example, uh, let's say I wanted to remove Walt for whatever reason. I'm gonna remove Walt. And I wanna connect it through here because I wanna run uh, Sepulchre for some reason. If I don't have the 30 map limit done already, there's a chance that Elder will take Vault, then Geod, all the, potentially all of these, which could mean that I would lose this. And like just by and then you would have to run the vault. Of course you don't have to kill the boss in the vault to remove like get rid of the influence, but it can have some trouble. So now that I've mentioned the limit, so you have a 30 map limit, right? That means that let's say we have a 20 map. I think my core is 19 maps, right? 5, 10, 15. Yeah, I can't count. Anyways, uh, if I have less than the limit on permanently influenced, by the Elder, there's a chance that I will lose those maps, right? For example, if I were to connect Laboratory, I could lose all of these maps. Not this map, but these, these maps here. Because there's a different routing. So what you can do, if you have a very short routing, like 20 maps or something like that, or let's see if you have a shorter circle here or here, is I could influence all of these eight maps. Yes, eight maps. I can do some math. So, if all of these eight maps are under the Elder influence, and these two, these maps will never lose the influence unless you run them. Because, like, like the one of the three rules was that Elder uh, Shaper cannot take the map from Elder unless it's adjacent to it. So. In the example, I can, it's easier to show here. This is a very good example. Atlas. So we have. Uh, let's start from the elder. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, and then 29 maps under the main path, and then you have this one odd dungeon here that you never run. So we have a we have a, like a 30 maps here under the influence, and 29 of them will never lose the influence, as long as you keep the, the uh, dungeon uh, under the influence. So you can run any of these 29 maps and never lose the influence. Because you Add the extra map that Shaper can never take back. So yeah, it's a it is a very strong mechanic, and I really hope GGG gets gets rid of it. This this will be immediately taken out by removing the rule that Elder has to be connected to his Guardian. Yeah, so let's get. A bit into how you do it. So, of course, it depends where you want to have your the uh, influence. For example, I could easily have the permanent in influence just making a circle here, 
because most of my shape maps are here. So the location where you spawn your elder matters, and the, I'd say most of most important thing is you have to get it along somewhere in a path where it is very unlikely that Shaper will take maps back. Like here, the Mod Kaiser is only one map here. So when you when you first complete it, like for example, I have it started from these maps being under the influence, and then I started spreading. There's a one important thing about the spreading that I'm gonna mention in a second, but it doesn't. When you occupy maps with Elder and Guardian, it doesn't immediately mean that you can actually do the circle with that. For example, I had a case where I think I had Elder here, then Guardian, 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 and Guardian. So that would mean that, well, because Elder is next to this Guardian, I can't use this as the other pathing out. If I had a guard, uh, Elder here, and a Guardian and Guardian here, I could remove this map. And then I could do it because this cow goes up right here, and I can connect the other like other uh, side from there. But since my elder was connected to this guardian, I couldn't do it from that way. So the only way would be going from up here, doing like a this, you know, uh, uh, and then from here. But because when I go down here, so. You have this guardian, right? So let's say I had this is the guardian that I have to remove, and then keep this or this. You know, you have to keep the the difference, right? So this map would be the same as my map guys right now. So guardian, then you go up from here. But because you have to use this map or this map as a connection part to the other side, it's very likely early on because you go up from here. And you go up from here that you will lose like if this connects well then you can lose everything else in there so kind of want to have your elder to spawn either on yellows or reds Be just because how the the white maps are built like the connections it's very awkward to get out of it this is was like good example other ones here if you get elder here it's basically impossible to do the the circle because Spider layer, which is the out, like the way out this side, and field, which is the out, like way this side, are connected to each other. So let's say I, I do a full circle here, into here, and my guardians are here, an elder. Because these two are connected to each other, I can just get rid of that. Like if I run this map, well. So there are there are spots where elder spawning is really bad. The only way to get permanent elder, like a permanent runnable elder, elder on a normal T50 map, is to get elder to spawn in there. And you can make a let's say I, I spawn an elder here, then he, then a guardian here, 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 and here. So you have to decide like which is the guardian you get like rid of. So I could use the Crimson Temple as the mod geyser here. So this is the empty map between. And then you connect from here to this side. And then you go from this side into the other way. So now you could you could make a small circle from here if you wanted to. Or you can make the big circle all around there. So there's, there's a lot of flexibility in the system. Yeah, I think I covered... Oh yeah, the the progressing part. So so let's say that we still this is still connected map, right? This was a guardian for me, and I haven't connected these together. A issue that a lot of people will run. I was I think I was pretty lucky. It took me like less than four hours to complete it, complete the circle after I got my occupied occupied maps. But because Shaper can remove a map, right? So these are connected. And I have like, let's say I'm all the way here and all the way up here. So there's like two map difference. Let's say I'm running the resident. This is Shaper influenced. And I get it. 
Because they're like, this is the only connection here. The moon Temple is the only connection to the Guardian here. I'm Elder in this side and this, this maps. Because these are already, like these are still connected. If I lose Moon Temple, I will lose all of the maps here that aren't connected to the other part. So you have to be very careful on how you progress it. So you want you try you want to try to keep the Elder Influence two maps wide. So if both Belfry and Mineral Pools are Elder Influenced, well then the Moon Temple is pretty much safe. You can't lose it in like one go. And now you can run into another issue when you try to keep it two maps wide, is the 30 map limit. You, you simply cannot make a full circle while keeping the whole whole routing two maps uh, wide. It, you hit the 30, limit, 30 map limit. So you have to take some risks at some point. But if you when you do them, when you, when you do take the risks, try to take the risks at the end of the... So let's see, these are like connected still. So try to keep this area as risk free as possible and this so that when if you lose maps you only lose few maps at a time so let's say that these two are the last maps that I need to connect losing losing like these two maps is like nothing compared to losing like Geod here because I would lose all of this so be careful if you're doing it and I really hope that GGG removes this <laughs> from next patch. But yeah, in case you want to do it, this was a 20 minute very badly organized ramble of me explaining mechanics about it and how to do it. Ah.